Thank you. It's Miss Stashi. And y'all know it's Mr. Ramsey. And we are so excited that you guys oh are watching. So excited. The YouTube channel. Oh my goodness. Guys, we're so grateful that you're watching the lessons yes. that we teach every month. It makes us feel like we're closer to you. And hopefully you guys are writing in the comments what you're learning because we want to know what our kids are learning. I know that's right because we miss our babies so much. Yes, yes, yes. We are having a good time here, but it'll be an even better time with you. We're praying that this pandemic would just go away. It needs to yes. erase. We want it to be all gone. Like, aren't you tired of it? If you're tired of it, put in the comments, Mr. Ramsey, Miss Nastasha, we are tired of the pandemic. Tired of the pandemic. Give us a meme. I know that's right. Get ready to get back to church. That's what we need to do. Yes. Because we miss our, our babies. I've seen some of them on Sundays. Yep. And they come and give me an air hug like this. And they're worshiping with their parents. Yes. And that's beautiful too because you get an opportunity collectively as a family to yes. worship God, right? I know that's right. But let me tell you why you're special. Because we're doing this just for you. For you. Yes. You. 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 <laughs> but we need you to do something. Don't just keep this word to yourself. We need you to share this with your friends. Tell your friends about it because I know even if they don't go to our church, they still miss the word. And I know that this is a way that they can be connected with the word, connected yep. with you, and just stay in tune with what God is trying now, to Ms. tell Now, Miss Nastasha, mm -hmm. now you know some of our kids, they're YouTube celebrities. I know, that's they right. They got a bunch of subscribers, a lot of followers, and even people liking their page. Mm -hmm. So you should use your platform you're following your likes and share this with your friends. Because really. it's so important. Yes. And we're so much fun. Yes. Because we're unashamed of loving God. Tomatoes. Boo. <laughs> you need the tomato, Mr. Ramsey. I'm not even finna play with Mr. Ooh. Ramsey. You know what? What's up? I think it's a song on your heart. Let me pause it. It is. You know, oh, do it again. Do it again. One more time. One more time. Okay, I'm not finna pledge allegiance. Okay. To the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, tomato! But, but I'm so excited because we are starting a new series. Yes! And, you know, to see what God did last month. You remember when we did Christmas in July? I remember. I mean, God was just doing some amazing things in July. July is over and done with. We are in August and we're getting ready to go into September. But the cool thing is, God is still today, yesterday, and what? Forevermore. And I got a song on my heart because with this new series that we got going on, it's going to describe what we're getting ourselves into. I know, that's right. And it explains us so perfectly. Yes. And you know how it goes, Stashi? Go ahead and bust it. Indescribable, uncontainable. You place stars in the sky and you know them by name. You are amazing, God. I think we should sing it one more time because Come they're on. learning that. It says, indescribable, yeah. uncontainable. You, you place the stars in the sky and, and you know them by name. You are amazing, God. That's my jam. You I'm better sing that, brother. Because God is indescribable. And he ooh. is uncontainable. Yes, he is. And he is what? Amazing. An amazing God. Okay. Woo, can the church say amen? Ha! Ha! Hallelujah. Ah, oh, sit on the back seat. <laughs> Turn the radio down. <laughs> Turn your radio down. Oh, Turn oh, your radio thou. down. I'm not going to play with you. You know answer. what? That's why the kids love being right there in front of the screen, their iPads, their phones, and everything, because we just be all crazy. I know thing. that's right. But you know what? I love it when we sing to God. Mm. I love it so much. Mm. I love to tell him how amazing he is, yes. because he is amazing. God he is, is indescribable. He is creativity. Yeah. And his creativity is also indescribable. Mr. Ramsey, hmm. do the kids know what creativity is? First of all, you guys got to say the word. Creativity. Wait, let's, okay, you say you okay. say it again. Creativity. Now let me try. Creativity. Creativity. Hip hop. Creativity. Creativity. Now, nod your hip. Nod your hip. 
Creativity. Ah, creativity. But what is creativity? Can you go ahead and let us know? I wanted to share this with them because when I was looking up this word, I was like, yo, this is pretty dope. This is lit like period. Right, right. On fire, like okay. boom, chaka, woo, wah, woo. Like all them sound effects. Like I know, yeah, I was just, yeah. <laughs> I was just really, really there. But let's get into creativity. So this is what creativity stands for. I'm, I'm gonna get my phone as you get your phone and you're mm -hmm. typing it into Google. I know Because we right. all have access. Parents, let them have access to internet right now to look up this word creativity. Because it's important. As we read along, because it's a part of this word, it says the use of imagination or original ideas, especially in production of an artistic work. The use of imagination or original ideas, especially in production of what? An artistic work. Okay, so let's implant God into this. Let's, yes, yes, yes. So yes. that you guys can have a better understanding of a bigger scope. So, God's use of his imagination pop, pop, pop. or original ideas that come from God, pop, pop, pop. especially in his production, pop, pop, pop of his artistic work. Ba -ba. And guess what? The most creative thing that God created. What? You. 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 Y -O -U. you. And it points to yourself and say, I. Me. I am God's most artistic creation. You see, it's amazing, uh, Miss Nastashi, uh -huh. how God used his creativity mm -hmm. to give us a nose, uh -huh. which is, carries a nostril. Mm -hmm. You have your mouth, which uh -huh. has a tongue, where you can uh, speak, or sing, rap. Duck lips. Oh, 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 for your selfies. Oh, 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 oh. And also, he gave us ears to mm -hmm. what? Hear. Yeah. What else? Eyes to what? See? And wear lashes. Come on. God creativity is just amazing. Arms, left hand, right hand, left leg, right. Oh, cha-cha to the left. Hey. Cha-cha to the right. Hey. Cha-cha to the left. Hey. God creativity <laughs> is just so amazing. It is. We know that it's true because we can see his indescribable world that yes. he's made. Yes. God's world is so creative. Creative. The creativity that he put into birds. Yes. The animals, the trees, how they dance so eloquently. And that's a, that's so amazing because when you think about Genesis mm -hmm. and you think about in the beginning of time yes. when God spoke, imagine that, he spoke. I'm not, now I'm not gonna say God spoke this way. Let there be like. No, I don't Let know how God spoke. Like. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Sasha. Do you know? No! We don't know. But the Bible says, uh oh, there it goes. Hello. The Bible says, ha! Let there be what? Light. Yes. Wow! Look at that creativity. I know that's right. So let me tell y'all what's up. In Genesis, we find out how God created the world. Mm -hmm. It started out like this Open your Bibles or your phones to Genesis 1 and 1. I have it, Mrs. Stashi. You have it? Yep. Genesis 1 and 1. And you guys should know which number book Genesis is because we've gone over it time and time again. They should put the and fingers up. Yeah, our babies know the books of the Bible. Isn't Genesis the third book? Um, That's how you put up your three? <laughs> and no, it's not. Guys, can you tell Mr. Ramsey what book Genesis is? <sighs> <gasps> oh, I remember! Oh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. There it goes. There it goes. Now, so what the book is Genesis? It's the first book. Mr. That's Sashi. right. Give me some, Mr. Ramsey. Girl! Uh, baby! baby. Uh. Oh, so open your book to Genesis mm -hmm. 1 and 1, and it should say, in the beginning, God created. Mm. There's that word again. God created the heavens and the earth. Wow. I know that's right. Mm. I know that's right. Can you use it in your, can you say it in your God voice, Mr. Ramsey? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Yeah, it needs water. So. <laughs> Talk about a famine in my throat. Right. <laughs> Boo! <Ooh>. Tomatoes. <laughs> so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. Let's break it down. Break it down. Break it down, break it down. Day by day, just like we find in the book of Genesis, mm -hmm. God said, let there be light. Wow. And there was light. Hold on. We got to do the sound effect. Okay. Say, let there be light. Let there be light. Boom! 
Oh, that's light. That was light. Light was showing out. One wow. more time. Let there be light. Boom! <laughs> can I, wait, can I finish it? Well, now they gotta try, Mr. Stop. Y'all ready? One, two, three. Let, Let there, there be light. light. Boom! Wow, I see Look you. I see baby. you. I Look see you. Baby. I see you. God saw that the light was good. Mm. He separated the light from the darkness. Wow. God called the light day. He called the darkness night. There was evening and there was morning. Mm. It was day one. one. I mm. know that's right. Wow. God also said, let there be a huge space between the waters. Mm. Let it separate water from water. Mm. So guess what? What happened? That's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Do you guys see light when you wake up? Mm -hmm. Do you see darkness when you go to sleep? Mm -hmm. Do you see how we have separate waters mm -hmm. from waters? Mm -hmm. Do we have land in between waters? Mm -hmm. What you think about that, Mr. Ramsey? That is so creative. I know that's right. God is a God of creativity. He wow. is. He is. And that's exactly what happened. God made the huge space between the waters. Mm -hmm. He separated the water under the space from the water above it. You know, when I look at this, when I look at space, and when I go to the beach, have you guys ever been to the beach? Yes. I love the beach. It's beautiful. When I go, when I look at space and I look at the beach and I look at it all the time because I'm so in awe of God's creativity, it looks like a mirror image. The water looks like the sky and the sky looks like the water. You know, one thing I did, I did, I was thinking when I was reading that, Miss Nastashi, mm -hmm. that when God, the Bible says that God was hovering over the water. That means God was looking over the water. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that when God was looking over the water, he saw a reflection of himself. Oh. So because God is light, he was able to reflect light, right? right? And there's no darkness in God. So when God entered the earth that was filled with what? Darkness and void, he came in and he brought his presence. Right. So it's amazing that when you look at the water and you see a reflection, a mere reflection of the sky, that is a simple creativity showing us that God himself knew what he was creating. He, God be showing up. He be, he be blowing our minds. Everybody say God is the truth. And say he did that. He did that. You better write that in the comment right On there. On God. On God. Okay. And, and like Pastor David said last week, mm -hmm. only what? God. Only. God can do it. Only God can, can do, do it. it. That's it. So God made light and what, Mr. Ramsey? And darkness. He made morning and what else? He made night. Correct. He made the sky and, and he, he made what? He caused them to separate uh -huh. the land. With what? Water. Water which blows our minds. He has something massive just around the corner. Mm. So the sky, the water, mm -hmm. light and dark, mm -hmm. and then he made land. Wow. A massive land. A massive one. And sea. Wow. Day three was huge. Mm. He did that. And he God created putting, the sea on the third day. God was putting in a lot of work, Miss Nastasi. He was. Isn't it crazy how sometimes when you are creating something, you're putting so much time, energy, effort, work, all and, of and you. And most importantly, what else did he put? Out of all of that you just said, all the energy, all the effort, all the work, but most importantly, he had his most creative things that he created on, on earth. He put in what when he put when he made us? Most importantly, it begins with L, guys. What did God put in? Put, put, put yes. I whispered to her. I told her love. 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 God put he love. took his time. And that's a creativity in itself. What? I'm trying to tell you. But what's more, even more creative is loving him back. Loving him back. Mm. I know that's why. Right. It's indescribable. Because raise, come on. Raise your hand if you love him. Put two of my hands up and my feet. I know. Yep. There it goes. Come on. God, we love you. He's so amazing. So not only did he produce all of this and create all of this, mm -hmm. he produced land that produced plants. Mm -hmm. Each kind of plant had its own kind of seeds. Now that's amazing how God creativity has order. Right. Right? Like he knew like everything before he could even create this land. Mm -hmm. 
he knew that water would give life to what's connected to the land. Okay. Like, oh my goodness. Stop and think about that, kids. Like the grass that you play on, the grass that you kick the ball, the grass that you're playing golf in, right. the, grass that, the grass that you play at school, mm -hmm. right? The water that you like to the swim in. The water like you like to swim in. God had a purpose for everything, everything he created. He created it. Wow. He's so artistic. Wow, that's He's amazing. He's so amazing. So, what blows my mind still is mm -hmm. each kind of plant has its own kind of seed. Mm. And that land produced trees that grew fruit that had seeds in it. Wow. That's, that's, that's bananas. And it's amazing, Stashi, that if we, if we were to paint this picture mm -hmm. with the kids, the kids are the land, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. And their gift that God has given them is the seed that's inside of them. Right. And the Holy Spirit comes in mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit waters the seed. Right. And guess what the kids are able to produce? Fruit. Fruit. For the world to eat. That means your creativity mm -hmm. that you create. Somebody created this for you to use it. Right. Isn't that amazing? Right. And we want to be make, make sure we're clear. He produced good seeds. Good seeds. Which produce good fruit. Good fruit. You are good fruit. Oh, man. Don't let anybody tell you anything else. If they say you're bad, you don't listen, you're not smart, you're dumb, you don't know anything, you remind them and you remind yourself, God produced me with a good seed. And you let them know you come from a good God. I know, that's you right. You come from a God that is filled with creativity and he has made you full with creativity. Okay. To be whatever you want to be because there is good inside of you. Because yes, we is. come from a good God. Hello, which means that we are good fruit. Oh, that was good, Holy Spirit. Okay. Was, on, did you Thank feel you, that? Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit. I know, that's right. Have you ever had some good fruit? Mmm. I ate some watermelon yesterday. I love pineapples. Oh! You mm. can taste it, y'all. I should have just <laughs> stopped there. Yeah. <laughs> And Mr. Randy, who's in the back, hey, is Mr. like, Randy. hey, everybody say hi, Mr. Randy. And he's like, he's laughing so hard. <laughs> well, we, got, we got to get back to this word because I love it's it. So, so interesting. So mm -hmm. things were really starting to take shape when he produced land, water, light, darkness, mm. morning and evening. Yes. But guess what? God still has some creating to do. Mm. He still has some showing out to do. Mm. So open your Bibles to Genesis 1 and 16 through 18 and read. God made two great lights. Mm. He made the larger light to rule over day and the smaller light to rule over the night. Mm. Who thinks they know what he's talking about when he created a larger light to rule over day yeah. and a smaller light to, to rule, rule over night. night? Who thinks they know what he's talking about? Mm. A large light to rule over day. Are you talking about the S-U-N? The sun for the day, and then you're talking about the M O O N, the moon at night? Yes! Wow. He created the sun mm -hmm. over the day and the moon over the night. Mm. He's showing out. He is showing out. He also made the stars. God put the lights in huge space of the sky to give light on earth. Mm. He put them there to rule over the day and night. Yeah. He put them there to separate light from darkness. Mm -hmm. And yes, on day four, God brought some amazing creations to life. Mm. The sun, wow. the moon, and mm. the stars. And God is just something else. He is. He's just incredible. He's indescribable. He's indescribable. And we want you guys to take this with you. And, you know, we're referring to the sun and the moon, right. but now I want you to put yourself in the equation. Mm -hmm. Let me say all of this again. Mm -hmm. God made two great lights. He made the larger light to rule over the day mm -hmm. and the darker, the smaller light to rule over the night. He also made the stars. Put yourself here. God put you, the lights, in a huge space of the sky to give light on the earth, to give light. So you are created with a purpose. Mm -hmm. The light that is in you mm -hmm. is the light that God is going to use to reflect on the earth. Yes. He put them there, mm -hmm. the light, you, to rule over the day and over the night because we have dominion. Yes. Mr. Ramsey, can you look we, up the word dominion? We have power. We have authority. That's right. You have the power and you have the authority. Mm -hmm. That means you, you, 
can't nothing contain you, uh -huh. right? Your problems should not be able to contain you. The negative words should not be able to contain you because your light should reflect louder than, the, than, than right. those things. And you don't even have to say anything. Mm -mm. God will say it for you because yes. you are his good fruit. Yes. You are his good seed. You are the light. And he loves you. He loves you so much. And if no one is telling you, you hear us, we love you. And God loves you best. Yes. He loves you more. Right? Yes. So we have dominion. So he put them there to separate light from, from darkness. darkness. Yep. Okay. Wow. This message was the bomb. This, uh, I mean, this is incredible. It when you is. think about it, we serve an uncontainable God. That means nothing can hold God. You cannot put God in the box. And guess what? Because you are a child of God and God has chosen you, he's created you, and you have full of creativity inside of you, don't let um, nobody put you in the box. You are not meant to be in a box. Not. God has put the light in you. He has given you something to go out into the world. That's right. And be a reflection of him. That's right. Everywhere you look, you see God's creation. Yes. So this Bible story this week was from Genesis 1 yeah. through 2, verse 3. Yep. There's no limit to God's creativity. Say that again. There is no, no limit, limit to, to God's, God's creativity. creativity. One more time. Say it, kids. There, there is, is no, no limit to God's, God's creativity. creativity. Now read it on the screen. There, there is, is no, no limit to God's, God's creativity. creativity. And your memory verse for this month. Get ready. Hold on to it. Everybody say, Lord. Lord. You are great. You are great. You are really worthy you, of praise. You are really worthy of praise. No one. No one. Can completely. Can completely. Understand. Understand. How great you are. How great you are. Psalms. Psalms. 145. 145. 3. Verse 3. That's right. You hear us? Lord, you are great. Yeah. You are really worthy of praise. Yeah. No one can completely right. understand how great you are. And just imagine this. Remember this. When you're thinking about this verse and when you're thinking about this series that we are in about God's creativity, that you are made in the image of God. That's right. So because you're made in the image of God, in you is God, is a piece of who the Father is. And because you have the peace of God in you and you're made in His image, the creativity that God possesses, you possess it now. That's right. And you are made beautiful. You are made wonderfully. Okay. Well, we love you, babies. We hope you enjoyed. Remember, yes. even as children, even as children, you can follow God, love people, and, and change, change the city. city. We love you. Love you